Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and today we're going to look at the eight films nominated for Best Picture through the eyes of critics and fan scores. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to look and examine each of the eight nominees based on their Rotten Tomatoes score, both from critics and fans, their IMBD score, as well as their Metacritic score, again, both from critics and from fans, and rank them based on each of these metrics. So all of the scores used for this video were taken from the date of nominations. So January 22nd, when they were nominated, what did these films look like in reference to movie reviews and fan reviews? So first of all, let's take a look at the Rotten Tomatoes critics' scores. Maybe it comes at a shock to some that Black Panther ranks number one with a really hefty 97%. Especially given the fact that a heavy discourse has been Black Panther doesn't deserve the Best Picture nomination it received. At least critics on Rotten Tomatoes, which we all know is not a very reliable site overall, don't agree with that sentiment and definitely think it's the most deserving according to their overall metric. Films that seem to be legitimate contenders for the Best Picture win with Roma and Black Klansman. We see following really close with a 96 and a 95% in second and third. And then another film that received pretty much all the prerequisite nominations for Best Picture is Vice, actually. And that doesn't come in until number seven. All the way down at 64%. And we only have two films that are not certified fresh nominated for Best Picture, and that is Vice and Bohemian Rhapsody, which only has a 62%. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Metacritic rankings from critics. Roma going from second up to first and Black Panther falling down into a tie for third. Only Roma and The Favorite have 90% or higher in this metric. However, Star is Born and Black Panther are really close with that 88%. Yet again, we see Vice way down the list at 61, almost the same percentage here on Metacritic in seventh, and then a straight up like rotten bad score, we have Bohemian Rhapsody with a pretty terrible 49%. So moving right along, let's take a look at the IMBD scores, which are kind of a culmination over on IMBD. Uh, they have way more reviews than either of the two other sites. So I'm actually going to use IMBD for both critic and fan score averages. So here's the list that will be used in both instances.
But here, we see once other voices start to be heard, Bohemian Rhapsody shoots up to a tie at number one with Green Book. Now, the general discourse kind of hates that those two films are nominated for Best Picture. However, IMBD shows there are plenty of people who are championing those films and may cause an upset come preferential voting time. We do, however, see Roma stay strong. It slides down to its lowest position yet. However, that's only number three. So a great showing across all three sites in this first branch of categories to start off for Roma. However, Black Panther, which was so strong in those first two critic ratings, falls hard all the way down to number seven with only a 7.4 or 74 percent in this ranking, which is way lower than we saw it in the others. But we still see Vice struggling to connect it all as it's dead last in this category. Well, let's go ahead and go over the averages then. Let's go ahead and take a look at the averages when taking all three of those scores and averaging them out. As I kind of forecasted, Roma comes in number one. It was high on each and every one of those lists. And it seems, and that's a great sign, I think, for Roma overall, is that it's really connecting with a wide net of people. Of course, we know that critics don't actually vote in the Oscars. So this is all with a grain of salt, honestly. But it's nice to see Roma having that widespread support. The favorite, however, just performed well across the board and came all the way up in at number two. So great showing there. Black Panther redeemed itself even with that seventh place kind of low ball score. Still rock solid in at number three. And when it comes to the more critical average, we see all of our films above 80% except for Green Book in at number six with only 78%. And then a drastic fall off. We see Vice in at number seven and Bohemian Rhapsody dead last in at number eight with a 64.7% compared to Vice's 65. So those scores are very much behind the others. And we honestly even see a pretty steep drop off from Black Klansman in number five down to Green Book and then an even steeper drop off from Green Book down to those final two. Now let's see if the audience scores begin to paint a different picture for our Best Picture nominees. So let's take a look at the rankings based off of Rotten Tomatoes user scores. This one is vastly different. People did not agree with critics on the website of Rotten Tomatoes when it came to these Best Picture nominees. Green Book shoots all the way up from number six to number one when looking at user scores and is the only one of these films to come in over 90% fresh. Now that is fascinating. It has a whopping 94 on the user scale. Number two, Bohemian Rhapsody with an 89%, so from dead last up to number two. Our highest critic score, Black Panther, falls all the way down to number six when looking at the user score with an only 79% rating. Roma held pretty strong, stayed at three, Black Klansman still up there at four, 
A Star is Born actually leveled off at number five, and then we saw the favorite drop off. But the interesting thing here is audiences agreed with critics and didn't like Vice as it came in dead last. Vice is actually the only rotten score from the users at 54%. So let's go ahead and look at the Megacritic user scores and how that ranks our Best Picture nominees. Here we see A Star is Born pull in its first number one ranking amongst the different groups, which is a great feat for that film. Another one that I do think really spoke to both audiences and critics, so it's nice to see it get a number one rating in one of these categories. Interesting enough, Roma holds strong at number two. Again, Roma not really seeing much of a drop-off when we look at user scores in comparison to critical scores, which is a very interesting take. It seems to have the overall least movement when comparing the two groups. Both groups seem to mostly really enjoy the film. Bohemian Rhapsody, up at number three, audiences continue to really enjoy that film. But then we have to go all the way down to number six, number seven, to see Black Klansman and Black Panther, which were rated much higher earlier in this video. Vice comes in dead last amongst the audience scores. So two websites now have both critics and audiences resoundingly rejecting Vice, which received nominations in pretty much all of the main categories you want to see when looking for a Best Picture winner. Hmm. Then again, I'm just going to flash these up here for the IMBD scores and the ranking there since we went over them a little bit earlier. And these are now the three scores I'm using to come up with audience or user ranking. So let's go ahead and see what the averages come out for audience scores and how that leaves our Best Pictures ranked. Audiences love Queen and they loved Bohemian Rhapsody. So while a huge contingent of people online, or a loud contingent apparently, seemed to be vocally very upset that Bohemian Rhapsody was even nominated for Best Picture, overall users on these film websites loved Bohemian Rhapsody and are happy to see it. It came in at number one for the user score, followed by probably the second most maligned film amongst the film community of fans online, Green Book, comes in at number two for user scores. A Star is Born got that win, stayed at three, and then Roma did see itself slip just a bit from that first critical rating down to number four. Black Panther had fallen off quite a bit for number six when it comes to audience averages, but the one that really took a hit was one of the favorites to possibly win, and that was The Favorite, which is all the way down at number seven. It did not connect with audiences as it did with critics at all. However, at number seven, it still had a 72% approval rating, and then we fall hard down to just over 61% for dead last place, Vice. So it was 7th amongst critics, 8th amongst audience members. Vice didn't seem to really connect with anyone. 
So again, this is all just to kind of take a look at the different ratings, the different reviews, the critic scores, the user scores, and kind of get a landscape of how we are looking immediately upon the nominations. Of course, users and audience members get no say when it comes to the Oscars, other than possibly box office numbers, which we'll be going over in another video. But those only do so much, as we've seen in years past. And critics don't actually get to vote when it comes to the Academy. So their opinion only matters so much. So what did you think of these averages, the rankings included from Rotten Tomatoes to IMBD and Metacritic? How do you see all of this playing out come awards time? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. And if you liked this video and want to stay up to date on all of the Oscar coverage here on the channel, as well as my latest movie reviews and film related videos, make sure to subscribe down below. And if you liked the video, hit that like button as well. I love you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.